What happens when a camera manufacturer decides to put their latest technology in the smallest package possible? That's what Fuji did with their recent X-T30. And we're gonna find out what trade-offs were made in this Henry's review. In our first look of the X-T30, I was quite surprised on paper how little has been made in terms of compromises when it came to the X-T30 in comparison to the X-T3, which was released a few months earlier. Let me remind you, the only major differences are the lack of weather sealing, recording on a single SD card, and the ability to record 4K at 30 frames per second, not 60 like you'd find on the X-T3. What you get back as a consumer is an even more portable product that leverages the unique value propositions of the Fuji system that makes you want to take more pictures. With its classic styling available in black, silver, and soon to be released charcoal, it was only right that we tested this thing in a retro-inspired shoot. Let me start off with how this thing handles. If you've shot on a Fuji X body before, this will feel incredibly familiar. It's like riding a bike again. Maneuvering this body feels like second nature when coming from the X-T3. And despite the lack of an ISO wheel, it still feels like it brings you closer to the photograph as you twist and turn the rings and dials. The X-T30 still has conventional back and front dials that users can customize to adjust shutter speed and aperture values in a manner that's like other cameras on the market. But if I'm being honest, it just felt nicer to use the dedicated dials that Fuji has made available for its users. The body alone is about 380 grams with a battery and SD card. So using this for the bulk of our shoot was no problem at all. However, the portability could be an issue for some users. After some extended use, my fingers were starting to feel a little cramped. So those of you with larger lobster cracking hands may find this to be a non-starter. It's definitely worth handling this piece a little bit before you pull the trigger. While the portability isn't a problem, it's really a choice, the decision to have the tripod mount off-center is something that really bothered me. Looking at the bottom of the camera, you'll see that the tripod mount, again, is off-center. And as a result, most plates will end up blocking access to your SD card and your battery. This is something that should have been considered in the engineering process. It's not the biggest gripe for a lot of users though that are gonna be shooting, especially in event scenarios and quickly changing out the battery or the SD card, something that is gonna get on your nerves. Now, on the topic of battery, I found the X-T30 to last just as long as I'd experienced on the Fuji X-T3. I got well over 300 frames with a little bit of juice left over, and the best part was being able to charge this thing with a battery pack through USB-C as I would my phone or iPad. Specifically in our scenario where our model was actually being touched up with another round of makeup and changing into a new outfit, we could take this camera and plug it into a battery bank and just let this thing trickle charge as we waited to start shooting again. And it allowed me to just continue to work throughout the entire shoot. Now let's talk about the images. Sporting their latest APS-C sensor, a fourth generation X-Trans, this thing renders some amazing pictures. And if you don't know by now, the inclusion of all of Fuji's film simulations will give users even more control over their final product. Let me tell you this, this is not a cheap filter. Fuji looks at the data being captured at the sensor level and applies their secret sauce from their film background to mimic the color and tone you'd find on their classic stocks. The end result is some truly amazing customization that can be taken even further with tweaks to highlight, shadow, sharpness, color, and more that you can do as a user. Think about this, you get to create these custom recipes for how you shoot your photography and take that into the real world. Here's some examples, and whether it's Eterna for some cinematic shooting or Provia, Velvia, or Astia, depending on the type of subject that you have, Again, the ability to have these custom recipes cater to how you shoot is a real differentiator in the market. This, my friends, is that secret sauce that Fuji aficionados can't shut up about. And for good reason. With practice, you can create some recipes that give you a fantastic JPEG right out of camera. That's worth celebrating.
On the video side, this camera is no slouch either. The continuous focus worked really well and in a way that breathes new life into older Fuji lenses. Whether it's the 56-1.2 or the 16-1.4, the new autofocus system on the X-T30 improves how these lenses perform. That's baffling. Imagine buying a lens five years ago, enjoying it, and then finding out that half a decade later, it's gonna work better than it ever has. How dare you, Fuji? We took this opportunity to test out the ability to record an F-Log internally on the X-T30, and it worked as expected. Despite the high rate of data being captured, the camera didn't overheat or lock up. Lower light environments did prove to be a bit of a challenge, and the cap at 10 to 15 minute clips on most formats will be a pain point for videographers, but for hybrid shooters, this may not be much of an issue. It really comes down to how you capture your content. This F-Log footage gives you even more dynamic range to play with as you would have expected. But what's surprising is that we're doing this on a $1,200 camera that's geared toward consumers jumping into mirrorless photography. The price and marketing all point to this camera being directed at creative individuals that not only want to step up from their mobile phone, but grow into photography. Features like F-Log and more being paired with the latest processor from Fujifilm mean that you'll be getting a camera with plenty of overhead, something that will grow with you as time goes on. Again, at $1,200 for some of you that are stepping in and looking for something that you can grow into, the X-T30 makes a really compelling case. So what do I like about the Fuji X-T30? I'll tell you this, the photographic capabilities of this camera are absolutely top notch and can stand head to head with bodies that are two or even three times its price. It's not simply about specs, but the quality of the files being produced. Additionally, the inclusion of several high-end video features make this camera an incredibly versatile product that can definitely impress some of the pickiest editors. When it comes to drawbacks, I found the touchscreen to be more of a nuisance. It might sound overly critical, but when you're used to using your mobile phone and that touchscreen, unfortunately that's the standard that everything needs to be measured against. I would try to activate different shortcuts through swiping and it would just not work in some cases. While not everyone will find this as agitating as I did, I still hope that this is something that'll be addressed in a future software update. Now most importantly, who is this camera for? Who would get the most out of a camera like this? Fujifilm has cast a wide net with the X-T30 and with a large library of lenses to choose from, buying into this system is something that many people will feel rewarded by. For the street photographer who wants to graduate from their iPhone, or the frequent traveler that wants to print their memories, or even the vlogger who wishes to take their content game up several notches, the Fuji X-T30 has an answer for just about everyone. The real deciding factor is going to be preference. Do all these features and unique offerings such as film simulations being paired with Fuji's most advanced autofocus system to date, does it make you enjoy your craft more? There may be a bunch of you that will adamantly say no and clutch onto your existing systems that you've spent decades mastering. I hear you, but I'd be lying to you if I didn't at least say that Fujifilm has created, arguably, one of the most enjoyable cameras to date. This is something that I wanted to pick up and take with me everywhere. A body that begged to be customized and maximized. And any camera that makes you want to explore your creativity more, well, that's a winner in my books. Thank you so much for watching my review of the Fuji X-T30. I'd love to hear what you think about this camera. Is this something that you would consider? And if not, what is the next camera that you're looking at? And as always, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know when a new video drops. We have some fantastic content being worked on. Can't wait to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. There's something about camera reviews that might trigger some people. So in preparation, I've made myself a cup of tea.